tell me 2021 treat me good please wait <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if I'm talking kind of low, it's because it's literally like, oh my phone. It's literally like one o'clock in the morning. Um, but yeah, um, in today's video, I wanted to talk about 2021 goals. What I want to get out of this year, basically. Quick disclaimer, y'all, please disregard this, this pimple that was now it's just a dark mark and it's so irritating so to start this video off um my first big um i made a list of goals so if you see me looking to the side i'm just looking at my list um um the first thing on my list is to get a jae <laughs> um i have been out of work since the pandemic started last year so um back in march when we had to move off campus at my school um i've been out of work since then um and me and my fiance made a collective decision for me to just um not work for the rest of my pregnancy um and for the first six months of our daughter's life i was going to just be a stay-at-home mom so that I that gave me time to sit here and focus on school um, and just focus on adjusting to motherhood, which was one of the best decisions that um, I could have ever made, that we could have ever made. Um, the made, it just made like adjusting to motherhood like less stressful than it most likely would have been if I would have been trying to jump into working and school and all that at once that just would have been way too much um so there's that but i just i i can't stand that having my own money i really don't like having to ask people for anything um but 2020 has honestly really taught me to be humble it's taught me that okay there's gonna be times in life where you're going to have to ask people for help and that is absolutely okay um so yeah that's that year was really what that was really about for me um, my next goal for this year is to for us to get an apartment um we have been living with a family friend since for a few months now but at this point i'm just i'm trying to have a roommate there's just a certain kind of peace about just living on your own like 100 percent completely free to just you know be just free in your space you can have you don't have to clean dishes right now if you don't want to for two days if you don't want to um you can sit here and your apartment's dirty your apartment she's dirty ain't nobody coming if you don't want nobody coming and it's just you can wear whatever you want so <laughs> um I'm just ready to not have any roommates, to literally just have us be in our own space. I'm very excited for that. Can't wait, but you know, you gotta be patient. Good things come to those who, as they say. Um, so yeah, an apartment or a house for us to rent out possibly um, sometime very soon. Um, next will be a car. Um, I've been using my fiance's car, so in the event that I need to go grocery shopping or I need to go to the store to pick up something really quick, um, he's home during the week. So, literally, um, it, that hasn't been a problem, me not having a car. Um, but that's something that um, we're working on. Um, I want us to start a saving so that once we move out, um, wherever we're living at the time, this will be like, a, I guess, like a... a a starter or like a and i'd give us an idea of um us being able to have six months worth of expenses so i want us to have six months worth of rent six months worth of car insurance car payments um student loans for me since i'll be paying those back starting this year um and probably even all of like the little you know like subscriptions that we have but just making sure that we have six months worth of all of those things at minimum saved up by the end of this year hopefully i don't know we're, we'll see we'll see we'll see that's probably a big jump but we'll see we have that money that we can go dip into where you know we won't have to wait till our next check um or in the event that we don't have the money at the moment we can go dip into that savings really quickly um 
to get something that we might need. And next, um, I would love to build multiple ways to passively make income. So building other streams of income. So once I get a job, um, we have other forms of money. Money that just makes itself. That when we're in our, in our sleep, the money is making itself. We don't have to worry about it too much. There are, we, we provide minimal amount of effort in order for that money to be made. Um, so just having other like multiple forms of that, um, so that you know, in the event of a pandemic happening again, or you know, just that's money that's going to be in our pockets um, that we didn't have to work for, that just worked for itself. Like you, you can't be that. Um, but that's the road to wealth, creating passive streams of income. Um, for example, like in the future, one day once we get there, once we, you know, we're set, um, I would love to do real estate, real estate investing, um, which is essentially, um, or I, I think this fits in real estate investing, but basically, um, I would love to sit here and own property and rent it out. Um, that's money that's in our pockets. Uh, and you can't beat that. If you want to find out more information, there's a bunch of YouTube videos out there that can explain to you real estate investing, real house hacking, all that. So go check those out because you might learn something new today. Um, I would love to read more. I used to read all the time when I was in high school. Um, and even growing up, like from my like, middle school and elementary school, I've loved to read. But for some reason, in my adult life, I cannot sit down and focus not long enough to read. I can't do it on my phone. I can't do like an actual book. Like, I don't know what my problem is. Like, it's just so hard for me to like really sit down and focus to read. I haven't tried audiobooks. That might be one thing that I try out next to see. Cause there's so much that I would love to read and so much information that's in books that I, I just, you know, can't sit down long enough to focus to get. Um, there's so much valuable information that I don't want to miss out on. Um, lose my like focus. Um, and I would love to start exercising. Me and exercising. <laughs> I always start up and like I'll be good for like a month max like two I don't even think I've ever went two months where I was exercising straight um but I would love to be able to really get on like an exercise routine um you know gotta get the summer body right <laughs> but yeah um, I would love to get on an exercise routine um just because I'm so out of shape it's ridiculous. I need to, I need to get it together, honey. Um, cause I'm trying to be fine at 40. I'm 22. There ain't no reason for me to be as out of shape as I am. So I need to get ready. Um, or doing yoga. I know I need to start doing like daily stretches or something like that. Cause my body's so tense. Like I could definitely go get a massage too, but yoga would help out in that, in that aspect and stretching as well. Um, I used to, I used to but I need to get back on that. Fell off so hard with the pandemic and pregnancy and all of that. Um, and lastly, I would love to journal more. I started journaling in 2018. And when I did, um, it was a great outlet for my emotions. I tried to pick in, like, I wasn't consistent with it. Um, so I would journal like every, like typically when I would journal, it would be like when my emotions were like super overwhelming um, and I just needed to get them down on paper. So I might journal like once today and then like two weeks from now I would journal again. Um, but I don't even know, it's been so long since I journaled and I've had so much happen in my life where I truly did need to journal, but I've just kind of, I guess just my mind was my journal. Um, and I tried to download an app to see if that would help me be more consistent, but that didn't that didn't work out. Um, I think I used to have like once or twice with a few journal entries in there, but other than that, I didn't. No, no it didn't work out. <laughs> um, my problem seems to be finding something to stick to. Um, 
but yeah. Um, journaling more. Um, and of course, spiritually, I've fallen off. I fell, fell off a while ago, but I would love to get back on that as well. Um, just getting right mentally, physically, and emotionally this year and financially. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I want out of 2020. Um, to just be a continuous work in progress, but to actually feel like I'm making progress. Um, putting in the work and me even starting my YouTube channel, this is me putting in the work to being the person that I want to be in the future. Um, so yeah, just making little strides towards the life that I want to live, essentially. That's what I want out of 2021. And I'm just hoping and praying and praying and hoping that 2021 is going to be better than 2020. Financially, 2020 was a great year for me. Um, but personally, like my personal life and emotionally, it was trash. It was trash. So 2021, treat me good, please. Wait, because I can't handle any more beads. <laughs> I can't leave more beans. Uh, but yeah, um, if you guys stuck around this long, thank you so much for watching. Um, and I also want to say thank you so much for watching my last video. Thank you. Thank you. If you watched that 30 minute video, I love you. I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know down below um, what you guys want to get out of 2021. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys again for watching. Bye.